Yeah, definitely. I think even uh, just now from fall camp with the whole whole season of practice as well as some game time experience, I think uh, a lot of things have changed from me from then until now. What has it been like, you know, be Scott Frost said you're 2A and 2B with Rodriguez. What has that relationship been like this whole time? Uh, between me and Coach Frost? No, between you me and, and Jake. And, yeah, and it's Jake. good. Me and Jake get along, so yeah. I think most people probably wouldn't think that, but me and him have a great relationship, and we've been competing pretty much since we first got here, so nothing's new there. How similar of players are you guys? Um, I think that's kind of something up for you guys' side. I think definitely, you know, he is he probably, you know, just has the stats a little, you know, a little bigger, a little stronger than I am. But I think, you know, we both do different things well, and, and that's, you know, for, for coach and, and, and everyone else's side, and we just kind of go out there and compete. What do you think some of your strengths are? Um, as, a, as a quarterback in this offense or in any offense, I think I just, I'm trying to, you know, kind of be a point guard out there, you know, make the right decisions, make the right plays, get the ball to, to the guys we have. I mean, we've all seen type of athletes that we continually get. So I think just getting them the ball in positions where they can succeed and getting the offense on the same page and making a play when you need to is probably my main focus. So the same preparation this week? Yep, same, same preparation is, you know, every week. You know, you never know. It could be, could have been last week, could be this week. Could never happen. Um, that's just kind of how it is as a backup quarterback. You just got to prepare like you're starting all week and maybe you don't play at all and maybe you play the whole game. So it's just kind of how it goes. What goes through your mind on the sidelines like on the last game? Uh, I, th I would say that the something that's different is probably, you know, when, when Marcus maybe makes a throw under pressure, everyone wants to look at the result, but I'm looking at him to make sure, you know, he gets up, make sure he's good. So I think maybe that's the only thing that's really different is that I'm more focused on, you know, when he goes down, he's getting up and, you know, making sure I'm I'm in the right mindset rather than the result of the play or the score or things like that. You're not following the ball downfield? You're uh, I mean, if, if I see him get hit, I'll probably focus more on him, just, you know, make sure he's good and, you know, make sure... And I don't want to be the one looking down the field. He's down, then I'm kind of, you know, flustered. So I just make sure, you know, I'm always ready to go at any moment. When you guys are on the sideline, also, you guys are obviously not just sitting there. You guys are involved in the game. Do you think that helps you in terms of if you're prepared to get in the game? Yeah, I think definitely. You just, you know, having the headset on and, you know, being right there, you know, signaling and just getting in the game always keeps you focused. And then when we're offense is not on the field, I can always talk with, you know, with Marcus or with Ronis or some of the receivers just to be on the same page with them and just always be ready at any time. Did you do any warming up? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Kyle fast warm up a little bit when he sees him down, but that's nothing new. That's just, you know, him taking the measures just in case. You never know. So I think that that's happened before this year, and who knows. Do you feel ready to play at this level for a full game? I think definitely, yeah. I think uh, the amount, how fast we go at practice and you know, how many reps we get in the spring and the fall and during the year and just some, you know, being up by a lot early in the year, I think all those reps just, just make me feel much more comfortable, and I'm definitely, you know, ready to go if, that, if it comes to that. How much toughness is Marcus showing by playing with whatever he's going through? Mm -hmm. I think that's something that you know people don't maybe understand is that a lot of people at you know week nine are going to be banged up, and I think that you know a lot of people don't know what that takes just not only on him but on the rest of the team. I think everyone's banged up at this point. If if you're not banged up at this point, then you're probably not playing that much. So I think you know him as well as everyone else on the team's toughness is definitely something that uh, often goes unnoticed. Are you concerned at all about his status? No, not at all. Why? Marcus, you know, Marcus says he's good. He's ready to go, and he's been, you know, moving great at practice. Yeah, you know, been moving great all year, so I know he's ready to go. Can't see any difference from week two to week nine. No, I mean he's, you know, Marcus says he's ready to go. He's a competitor. He's ready to go, and he's not going to let other things outside things distract him. He's not going to let, you know, maybe people talking about his knee get in the way. So when he's ready to go, he's ready to go, and we support him 100. percent He's got a hurt knee. <laughs> that's that's what I've heard <laughs> through the rumors. You obviously don't want him to be hurt, but is there a part of you that wants to go in, that wants to play? I mean, everyone wants to play, whether it's me or a scout team or a fifth string punter. But it, it's we we're gonna put the guys on the field that coach thinks give us the best chance to win. And whoever that guy is, that's who I'm rooting for. I just I mean, I just want to win games. And whether that's Marcus, me, or Jake, or Dustin, or someone else, and and so be it. I just think we're all just trying to win. How are those emotions then on the sideline when you see him go down and obviously it's the oh no, you know, Marcus might be hurt, but there's also also got to be a little bit of excitement within you at the same time that, oh man, this could be my time. I think it's, you know, it's something you always think about, you know, like what happens if this happens, you know, I'll feel this. But it's one of those things that, you know, it happens so fast that you just got to just calm yourself down and, and get on the same page of the offense and just try to, you know, lead a drive and score. And I think... That would have been my uh, philosophy, you know, down down by a lot at that point. I think I would just try, you know, score each drive and, and then look back up at the end and see how far you got. Jeff, have you ever been in a position where you've been hurt and 
maybe you shouldn't have played, but you played? Uh, I think everyone could say that, you know, playing the football for this long, any time in high school or, or when they're younger. We all get banged up, and we all want to play. So I think sometimes you just, you know, you got to toughen up and go out there and make plays and, and look at back, you know, a couple years later and say, hey, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but we're competitors and we're going to play no matter what. Is there a 